Hey guys, how's it going? Joseph here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So a few days ago, I created a community post right here on YouTube. And pretty much I was asking which TV would you guys like me to review next? And I give you guys two options. One is the Hisense H8F. And the other one was the VCO, the M series. Now I, I got a lot of requests. I mean, this has over 270 votes already. I'm looking at it right now. And so far the Hisense is winning. It's 57% of the votes. And the M series is like 43% of the votes. And it's, it's very close. Honestly, I want to review both of them, but I just want to see which one should it go first. So far the Hisense is winning, so probably gonna go with that one. But then I, I noticed a lot of people were ask, uh, saying in the comment section that I should do a VCO because all of them now VCO has Quantum Dot on their TVs. And then some of you guys were saying that I should wait for the Hisense, the H9, which is going to also have Quantum Dot on their TVs. So yeah, there, there's a lot of, uh, I feel like you guys are happy that all these TVs are getting all these quantum dots. And I'm also excited too, you know, TCL is coming out with the quantum dot TVs and the mini LEDs. So that seems pretty, pretty exciting moments right now. So while I was doing my research right here on the VCO website, I stumbled upon all these models. So VCO, what VCO did is just, they just got rid of a lot of uh, other models. I remember last year they, there was like the E series and then the D series. And no, so now the D series, and I still think that last year was the same. Like this series is the 1080p TVs, which like nobody really cares about that. They're like in the isolated aisle over there, like right next to the Sony 4K Blu ray players that nobody wants because they decided to make a switch to input a switch for Dolby Vision instead of making it automatic so nobody likes those nobody likes that so uh, a lot of people were saying Jolster the M series quantum dot from BCO it's $600 which is right here and I was like oh that's a pretty good price right that's a pretty good price and then I realized there's another one another VCO M series quantum 55 inch for $800, actually they just dropped the price right now to $749, so that's $50 savings. And I was like, what the hell, what's the difference? Then I realized that this one says 400 nits of peak brightness and 16 dimming zones. 16 dimming zones. Dimming, this one over here has 600 nits of peak brightness and 90 dimming zones. That's, that's a lot more. I mean, dimming zones is just, it helps you with the contrast in black levels, you know, it, it helps reduce blooming. So that's good. But I was like, why this is so confusing? People are asking me for this one, $600. But then there's this one. What was Vizio thinking when they were doing this? So, uh, last year we had a really good year with our 4K TVs. The P series did very good. So what's the plan for this year? Any ideas? Anyone? Scott? You got any plans for this year? Yes, but what if we make it easier for the customers? And instead of offering so many choices, we get rid of the E series and the D series and only offer the M series and the P series. And to make it even more competitive, we got Quantum Dot to all of the TVs. Scott, you're getting somewhere. Keep talking. What if we add a little twist to all of this? What if we make two different M series and then we add an X to one of the P series Quantum? The new X Men movie is about to come out, so people will relate when they see the X. Scott, you're brilliant. You're a genius. You have my full support. Go and make history, son. Go and make history. So I guess that's how they figured out how to make this this plot twist and making me making this more confusing than it was before. On top of that, then the, there's the P series. So you notice like the P series, there's a quantum dot P series, and then there's a quantum X 
P series, which is way more expensive, but you also get more dimming zones and even more brightness. So, uh, and there's also a 75 inch version as well. So if you're willing to spend all that much money, that's uh, that's really up to you, but check this out. I mean, this is like the 75 inch series quantum, but this is not the quantum X. This is just like a 75 inch quantum 22, 2300. And then if you want the X, just because it has the X, then it jumps to 3,500. That's a lot of money to be honest. But for some reason, the 65 inch, it's brighter than this one. But this one has more dimming zones, the 75 inch. So this is so confusing, so confusing BCO. So honestly, guys, if you want, for example, me in particular, I want to get the P series because it has the 1100, you know, peak brightness, 200 dimming zones. That's very promising. But if I want to get this one, then it's only available in 65 inch. There is no 55 inch. I, I, I like to get 55 inch first because it fits in my car perfectly in the rear seat. Second, it fits in my space. You know, I don't have a big place. So 55 inch version is the sweet spot for me. 65 inch, it's my, you know, 10 inches is 10 inches. It might be good, but... If I want to get a 55 inch, I will have to go for the M series, but then this is like half of everything. So the one that I'm probably going to get is this one, the M series, the 600 nits of peak brightness, 90 dimming zones. I mean, honestly, I'm not, I'm not too excited about it, but this is the M558 G1. Just in case if you guys are interested in knowing exactly which model you need to get. And then the other one, let's check out the other one. So that way you guys don't get confused when when ordering this. So if you want to buy this. So this is the M557 G0. So that's the two. Uh, the main difference is the brightness and the dimming zones. Now, keep in mind that when we're talking about dimming zones, there's, uh, there's also the algorithm how good it is. Usually VCO is very good with this algorithm. So I'm trusting their, their TVs are going to be good. But of course, the more dimming zones, better chances of less blooming as well. So uh, now let's jump into uh, Hisense because Hisense is also doing an excellent job this year. I seen their TV on uh, at Best Buy in person. And let me tell you guys, it looks beautiful. I'm probably gonna going to order this one from Amazon, but uh, over here <clears throat> you can find out all the information that you know Hisense is putting in their TVs. They're using this ULED technology. Take your TV experience from incredible picture quality. It's uh, this is like an exclusive technology from uh, Hisense. The ULED it enhances. It has like a little this microchip that enhances picture quality in the algorithms it boosts colors contrast so it's a really good really good technology they're using they also uh, included white color gamut there's also the motion rate it says 240 so when it says 240 it's usually the native motion rate is about 120 Hertz so I'm not 100% sure that that this TV is 120 Hertz of uh, refresh rate but most likely it is we'll find out later and then it's also full array with local dimming it doesn't say exactly how many dimming zones this tv has but i'm pretty sure the uled technology will help you know with the algorithm like i said algorithm it's also very very important when it comes down to contrast and black levels not just dimming zones you know it has to be a really good uh processing chip right there so uh this tv is also very promising it's 500 dollars for the 55 inch version and to be honest guys i mean i'm more excited for this tv than the vco i review a vco last year the p series and it was good it was good to a certain extent i had some issues some, some problems with it but i don't know i never reviewed a hisense before so i'm excited to see how this one is going to do and also i want to review the h9 from uh, hopefully this month i remember uh, heisen said that they're going to release it this month so hopefully that's true 
And there's also the TCL, the TCL uh, Quantum.TV with mini LEDs. I'm, uh, I'm very excited for that TV as well. So uh, based on the votes, you know, you guys have been voting here in this uh, community tab. I'm probably going to get first the Hisense, then the VCO, then the TCL, and then the Hisense with the Quantum Dot. But uh, let me guys, let me let me know in the comments below which one are you guys more excited for. You know, what else? What do you want to see on TV? You want to see more about movies, more about gaming? Which features are you you care most? You know, good motion. You care most about having the quantum dot with higher, wider color volume. You know. All right, so that's it for this video. Right now, it's gonna make it trying to make it short but uh thank you so much for stopping by if you have any questions let me know in the comment section right below i'm jolster don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one jolster out